Hi there! Today you're joining me in the Narrowboat kitchen for another Narrowboat cooking vlog. Today, would you believe it, I'm going to show you how to cook a hearty meal in one pan with a small number of ingredients that costs just a little bit around two pounds to serve four people. That's four people. Because the cats eat the same as us. <laughs> That's okay, right? We're not giving the cat the food. I guess I should tell you what I'm gonna make. It's a lentil and bacon soup, which is made up of carrot, celery, bacon, onion and garlic, and you guessed it, lentils also to, for the mix you put in a vegetable stock and a tin of chopped tomatoes my tin of chopped tomatoes for this recipe is not the usual one that I use because it was on offer um, so the me recipe would be cheaper if I used a cheaper tin of chopped tomatoes and probably an oxo cube instead of my vegetable stock so let's get started here's my one pot all I need to do is just heat up a little bit of oil and then chuck in my roughly chopped onion and garlic chuck that popular cooking term for this recipe I'm using a pack of cooking bacon which basically means you can get any bits of cuts of bacon that they don't want to use normally and I've just roughly chopped it here and that just goes in the pan with the onion and garlic. Because of the small space in the kitchen I'm now just going to quickly wash up whilst the bacon is browning is cooking up with the onion and garlic. My bacon and onion are now nicely uh, pinked up. I sped it up a little bit by putting the lid on the pan to keep the heat in. So next all I do is I get my chopped celery and carrot and chuck it in. I've weighed out 150 grams give or take of red lentils which is just about one cupful. And she I'm just going to chuck in my chopped tomatoes, get my stock pot, and then pour in some water. Last but not least, in with the lentils. going to put a little bit more water in there. I can't possibly fit anything more in my pan so I'm just going to bring that to the boil and that's pretty much it. It just needs to cook for about 25 to 30 minutes to make sure the lentils are, are well done and not too chewy and then I have to just serve it up into a bowl each and away we go. If you wanted to do an extra twist, you could fry up some of the bacon in the pan to make it nice and crispy and then just sprinkle it on top of the soup when you serve up. We've tried that and it's really yummy, but I'm not doing that today. And it's horrified. Do you want some dinner? Alice. Well, I've only got two bowls out. Alice, do you want some dinner? So that looks done. So it's nice and hot as you can see from all the steam so I just spoon up some of it because there's just two of us we're not really feeding the cats our soup and because I couldn't fit a lot of water in the pan when we have it again tomorrow I'll just put an extra little bit of water in to get the because otherwise it'll be a bit gluggy Ta -da! So 
served with love. And a soup spoon. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, then please give us a like. And if you found this recipe useful, please share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.